Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to paint some watercolor butterflies. So let's jump right in. Okay, so today we are going to be painting some butterflies and I just cut out a long narrow sheet of paper. We're going to be doing three butterflies in a row and it doesn't really matter the dimensions of your paper, just whatever you have. Uh, and then I split it in half with a lightly drawn pencil mark and then split it in three just to kind of make it somewhat symmetrical. Um, and I'm using my Arches watercolor paper. I have my Princeton snap brush in a size six round and I have my Winsor Newton professional watercolors in my palette as well as a pencil and eraser, just any pencil and eraser that you have. And I also have this mono drawing pen that I might be using. And I also might be using white ink towards the end. Um, I'm not really sure, but I have my Dr. PH Martin's bleed proof white ink and we're just gonna kind of play around and see how it goes. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna wanna do is sketch out my butterflies. And you wanna start with the center of the butterfly, the actual body. So I'm gonna start with a small little head here, like so and then a long body like that, okay? Just in the center. And then I am going to draw the wings. So um, you can always measure it out if you want it completely symmetrical. I'm just gonna try my best. I'm just going to maybe mark a place where I kind of want the wings to rise to. Um, and then the bottom of those top wings are gonna be not in the center of the body, but just slightly above the center, okay? So I'm gonna do a curve coming down like that. And another curve. Trying to make it symmetrical, might be, might not be. <laughs> just try your best. Like that. Okay, and then you're gonna come down and in like that. Try and do the same thing on the other side. If you really want it to be symmetrical, I definitely suggest you like measure it out. But if you feel like just kind of being, having fun with it, just do it freehand. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just remember that it does not have to be perfect. Okay, and you can spend as much time erasing and drawing as you like. Whatever works for you. Okay, and then you're gonna come down over here and we have these like bigger kind of rounder wings. So again, just trying to do the same shapes on either side. And what I look at when I'm trying to do freehand sketching, I look at the spaces I have maybe in between here to see if they're the same, if they're hitting the same parts of the wing, the top wing, just to kind of get an idea if they're similar. I feel like maybe these need to be bigger. Bring them down a bit more. that okay and then tweak it as you like okay so I'm gonna do that after we're gonna draw our second one here I'm gonna have more of like a flatter wing butterfly okay so let's start with our head I'm gonna make this head a little bit bigger body a little bit bigger like that and this these wings are gonna be flatter so I'm gonna come straight out like this. Okay. And then they're gonna curve down. I'm trying to do the same thing on the other side.
and bring it back up. Like that, and then have these ones come down. Like that, okay? So this one more is really spreading out those wings just to get a different perspective. And then the last one we'll do more like this. Um, hmm. Okay, so again, we're gonna start with the body. Maybe we'll do a bit more of a fatter body here. Just change it up, okay? Again, kind of marking where I want those wings to come up to. And then I'm going to have these ones come right down like this. Okay, so now I'm just going to tweak my butterflies and make them as symmetrical as I can, but that's the kind of general shape of them. Okay, so now that our butterflies are done, we can start working on them one at a time. Um, and I'm not worrying too much about the outline of the pencil just because we are going to be outlining it with black. So you just want to make sure that the inside of the wings are clear of any pencil marks. Um, and then you're just going to pick out your palette that you want for your butterflies. I think I'm going to do some purpley blue ones and we'll just have fun with that. So I'm just going to wet up some of my paints here. Um, some of my turquoise, my mauve. Uh, maybe some cobalt blue. And before I dive in with color, I'm just going to wet it up because we're going to be doing some wet on wet for these wings. Okay, so I have a slight little purple tint to my water just so you can see it. Like that. And I'm going to work on both of the top wings at the same time. So I'm just going to wet up these two top wings because I'm gonna be doing some wet on wet and I want these to be a bit more like symmetrical. Okay. So I'm gonna grab some mauve here. Oh no, okay, hold on. There. <laughs> and I'm just gonna start tapping around like this. trying to kind of make the the bleeds symmetrical but of course they won't be completely symmetrical because they are you know watercolor kind of has a mind of its own I'm gonna grab a bit of dioxazine purple and go a bit darker around here like that I'm gonna grab some turquoise Go in here, maybe bring it up. Just trying to do the same kind of thing. I'm gonna wash it off now, wash off my brush. And I'm just gonna kind of try and move some of these blends together. Okay. I'm gonna grab a bit more mauve and I'm just gonna pop it in there. I'm 
And really you can do your own pattern. Don't feel like you have to do the exact same thing as mine, same colors. Anything that works for you, whatever you want, you do. Just gonna drag it out to the shape of the wings a bit. Okay, and let it just kind of blend together and bleed and do its thing. Okay, now let's do the bottom wings. So I'm gonna just wet up the whole wing and they can touch the top wing so a bit of that can bleed into the bottom. There's no really specific rules you have to follow with this. Just make it your own, have fun. You can't really screw up a butterfly when you have the general shape and beautiful colors, okay? So don't even worry about it. So I'm just gonna grab some blue and I'll just tap it over here. Maybe a bit coming down the center. Grab some mauve, maybe coming around. I might try and leave this one a bit lighter, these wings down here. I'm just gonna move some of that color around. Like that. And we're gonna leave this one to dry, okay? So if you feel like you wanna add any more color, go for it, do whatever you feel is necessary. Just try and make it symmetrical. So if I'm doing a dot over here, I'm doing a dot over here. Okay? All right, so now let's move on to our next butterfly. And I think with this one, I'm gonna do more purples, like just dark purples. I don't know, let's, let's just play around and see. Let me just make some space here. Okay. So I'm gonna start with, again, same thing, my top wings. And again, do your butterflies, whatever colors you want them, like oranges and reds would be beautiful, turquoise, whatever you want. You do not have to follow my color palette, okay? We're just kind of laying down the same kind of principles of, you know, wet on wet technique and then some of the, the drawing, the shape of the butterfly. That's all you really have to follow. Okay, maybe some of the detail after, but don't even worry about it. Okay, so I'm just gonna go in. I might even leave this butterfly, actually, hold on. I'm gonna try and make the lightest wash all the same color. This one's a bit more blue. I'm gonna make this butterfly a little bit lighter than that other one, not as bright. Okay, I'm going with the purple. Might even grab a bit of like magenta. bottom here. Okay, I'm gonna do the ones down here now. Okay. 
Okay. gonna go around the bottom really I'm just I'm winging it so do whatever you think may look good just drop in some color maybe some lines like so Okay, so I'm mixing turquoise with mauve and just using a bunch of different purples and blues. All right, okay. And then our last one, I think maybe we can do more blues. I don't know, we'll see. So <laughs> just going to grab a slight tint you know what, let's just cover the whole butterfly with this. Okay, so grab a light wash. I think maybe I'll do a dark to light gradient on this one. Okay. So I'm going to grab this darker color here and I'm going to go around the outer bits. Okay. I'm going to grab some, maybe some cobalt blue or some turquoise. Just go in there like that. Washing off my brush. And I'm just going to Blend it out here. Making it darker towards the top of the wing. Now I feel like these wings aren't very symmetrical. It's also hard to tell. I'm trying not to get in the way in the, of the camera. <laughs> but if you're not directly over top, so if these aren't symmetrical, forgive me. And there we go. Okay, so now we're gonna wait for these to completely dry and then we will do the black detail. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now that it's dry is I'm gonna take my black ink marker, so or your pen, whatever you have, and I'm just gonna go around the parts that I want to be black. So I'm just gonna go around the whole butterfly to start. Make sure it's as symmetrical as I can make it. This one needs to be a bit yeah, like that. Okay, and then I'm gonna start doing the little lines on the wings with my black ink. And then we will fill in the larger black areas with watercolor. So I'm gonna start one coming from here like that, having it come same on this end. Then it's gonna kinda come 
back like that. Okay. And then you're going to have other little lines going right to the edge from this one. Okay, like that. Try and make it symmetrical again. I know it's a little difficult. I have a hard time with this. <laughs> Okay, like that and then you can even do some a little bit of black shading closer to the body we will be doing the body in black after anyway but just to get a little bit of line shading there okay and then I'm gonna make it a bit thicker right here okay and then this one I'm gonna have a line come down here and I'm gonna have a split like that. So line down, split, and then lines like this. One, two on either side. Okay, and then we're gonna do a bit more black detail around the edge here. So you can actually do some like scalloping with your pen if you want. that and you can do a little bit of scalloping on this side too so it's kind of connecting to each one of those lines I'm getting thinner like that okay so now let's grab our black watercolor and we will fill in some of those edges okay so just where you put the scalloping I'm gonna go around the edge first that like that you can even do the body now so you just fill in the the head there and we're gonna add a little bit of like white after but we're just gonna wait for it to completely dry we'll work on the other butterflies and then come back and do a little bit of white spots in some of the black areas Okay, and I'm looking at it, you know what, it's not completely symmetrical, and that's fine, guys. Don't beat yourself self up if it doesn't. I mean, it looks like a butterfly regardless, right? Okay, so there is your butterfly, and you can either do it with your paint or your pen. Do your little antennas. I'm trying not to touch the pen or the ink. There we go. Okay, so there's your first butterfly. We will come back and do some dots. Oh, actually, hold on. Maybe we'll do a couple of the black dots down here. So we'll just go one, two, three. One, two, three. Let's do another little one there. There, okay? And we'll do white ones after. Okay, so now our next butterfly, we are gonna do our black part. So again, just taking out your pen. Okay, you can outline the body if you like. Okay, this is almost kind of looking more like a monarch one. It's just a purple version. Um, so I'm just gonna outline it. Make sure it comes in the same kind of angle. There we go. Okie dokie. Okay, so we're gonna do more scalloping on the bottom here. There's gonna be more black on this one. And more white dots. Okay, we're gonna do black around here and then 
more scalloping like that. that okay now let's draw our our lines on the butterflies so I'm gonna start here bring it in like a little scoop like that and then have the lines coming off of it like we did on the last one okay have a shape come in like this from the bottom wing and then lines coming off of that. Okay, and grab our black and go around all the edges. Okay, and go on the body now. We're gonna be doing some white dots on the body after two. Might actually come in here. Just to separate the wings a little bit. Like so. We'll do little dots down there. And then we'll leave that to dry and then do our white dots after. Okay, and now let's do our last butterfly down here. Okay. So grab your pen again, and I'm just going to outline it. I forgot to do the antennas on the last one. I'll do that when it's dry. Okay, and I think maybe we'll do just a little bit of black on these ones. So we'll just just doing some wavy lines coming down. Okay. And again, if you want your um your colors to be a bit more vibrant. You could have always done a second layer of bright colors too. Like once that first layer of like blue or purple had dried, if you want to do it again with more wet on wet and just vibrant, make the, blah, make the colors a bit more vibrant, you can always do that too. Like I said, there's no rules with this. Do it however you feel. Actually, with this one, I might add a bit more blue. I'm gonna grab some turquoise. And maybe I'll do just 
just a few blue dots. Just to, I don't know, for fun. <laughs> and I didn't do the lines on this one, but you can do it however you like again, okay? Totally up to you. Okay, so we're gonna let this dry and then we will come back and just do the last bit of detail. Okay, so now that it's dry, I'm just gonna do the antenna on this one. Okay. And I'm going to grab my white ink. If you don't have this, you can always use white watercolor or white gouache, whatever you have, or a white gel pen, that totally works too. Okay, so let's start with this one at the top. We're just gonna do just little dots, not too much on this one, just a couple. Like that, maybe there too. Okay, we're not gonna do too many on this one. Then I'm gonna do this one, which is more like the monarch butterfly. I'm just gonna do some on the body. Just like that. Okay, and then they are all over the wings on these. So we're gonna do some bigger ones, try and make it symmetrical. Okay, I'm gonna do some on the purple. And then a bunch on the wings. Okay, there you go, there is that one. And then this last one here, I think, I'm just going to add maybe a white line down the, lot, down the wings. And maybe a couple dots. Now you can always look up a reference photo for what they actually look like, but I'm just having fun here. I'm gonna do some white lines coming from here. Just having fun with it. Okay, and there you go. There are your beautiful watercolor butterflies. Thank you all so much for watching my video. I really hope you liked it and I hope you learned something. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram and Facebook for even more. Have a great day guys, bye.